Hey y'all, I hope that you are safe and well wherever you are, and if you're not, you are in the right place because I haven't been well for quite some time. I was up like all, all night with my dog who was sick. Unfortunately, he's resting, but he's doing okay. But today, I, it, so it's also storming out, so I have nothing to do, but I thought I'd compare these two products because they are both ones that I love. So previously I was hooked on this one, the NYX Bear With Me Skin uh, Tinted Skin Veil. This one is in True Buff Beige. And this one, the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. Um, this is also considered their Tinted Skin Veil. And this is in Light Medium. So I figure, I have nowhere to go. I don't care if this doesn't work out, if it looks so weird. I don't know. Maybe they'll look so similar and I will be shocked that side by side they actually perform similarly. But in my opinion, I don't know. I was so hooked on this for such a long time. But this one, oh my gosh, it is like now my new fave, but we'll compare. So this side of my face I'll do with NYX. This side I'll do with the Wet n Wild and we will compare. So First of all, let's look at consistency, and I will start with the Bear With Me. Um, this one, can I do this? It is, as you can see, like a creamy consistency, creamy gel consistency. And for both, I'm just gonna apply with my hands because, you know, that's what you do when you're just trying to get ready super fast. You just want to throw on maybe a tinted moisturizer and go. So that is that. And you really just get very sheer coverage. I'm going to put a little bit more on because, because. <laughs> Um, because this is all I'm going to do on my face, I think. Or maybe I'll do a full face of makeup and we'll compare and look side by side. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if, like, my energy drops and then I want to just be alone, rewatch um, the um, Suicide Squad. The Not the first movie, the second movie. Oh my gosh, it's so much better, I think. Um, but I really like it. I wish, though, like, that, you know, Harley Quinn was such a great character in the first movie. I wish he had, like, more in the second, and I thought, and I was hoping that there would be the Joker there, too. So, as you can see, the NYX did quite a bit. It mattified, um, but it did kind of oxidize. So you can kind of see how it changed color a little bit, be, be, you know, be, as I put it on. I've noticed that this doesn't tend to oxidize as much, um, but the consistency of this one ooh, is much more liquidy. So you can see it kind of runs a little bit um, and it's, it is very creamy. This might be too much. I thought I pu pushed out the same amount, but like now I'm like, oh, I wish I could put it back in the bottle because this is like way too much. Okay. Oh my gosh. I screwed up. Okay. I was hoping to do a side-by-side -side comparison of about the same amount of product, but <laughs> as you can see, this is just too much. So I'm wiping both of my hands off so that way I can use both my hands to move some of this around a little bit because I don't need that much. Okay. I'm 
the center of my face is kind of strange, so let's... Okay, there. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I pulled, just a ton came out. Um, as you can see, it's just very liquidy. Um, it glides on really nicely. Um, it has a really nice slip to it, so it feels very loose and slippery in your hands and slippery on your face. You can see that it gives you a little bit, let's see if I can turn this light on, it'll... It gives you like more of a dewy finish than the NYX, which is a lot more matte. Um, let's look at close. So, you know, um, yeah, I mean, I think my crow's feet here are a little less than over here. Like this is bunching up a little bit. You, you can see and throughout the day, what I have noticed is the NYX will bunch up a little bit in different areas, especially like around the nose area. Whereas the uh, Wet n Wild does not. Um, but yeah, you can see how different these two are. It might be just kind of subtle, but to me, it looks different. Like this one just looks so much more dewy and everything. Um, it definitely brightened the under eye a little bit more than this side. Um, so this under eye is a little, you know, not really covered. Um, and it, you know, the, the feel on the skin. So this one has a little bit more of a, a tacky feel. So it feels a little bit sticky. Uh, this one feels a little bit more of a powder finish. Um, I have combo oily skin, so I have noticed that the Wet n Wild, if I'm wearing it all day, I do get a little bit more greasy, which isn't great. So the NYX is good because it kind of absorbs that oil, but I have noticed that the other one, it kind of feels a little bit greasy. But let's put some powder on top of these and see how that looks. So, they look pretty similar. <laughs> With powder on top, they look pretty much exactly the same. Um, let's see about maybe bronzers and blushes on top. Because if you, if you're going all out and you're doing your thing and maybe you want to glam this up a little bit more you know you want to know how's it gonna layer how's it gonna wear right so I'm gonna go in with some contour slash bronzer kind of do the same thing pretty identical. <laughs> it's so crazy that like I matched the color so well. Um, I have not looked to see the the ranges of each uh, product so I don't quite know what the range is as far as the skin types and the colors and everything. So that's certainly a consideration. Like I definitely um, am, am so for making makeup available to many different skins 
Um, I'm really glad that, you know, not, it's not just your skin type, you know, oily combo, whatever. Um, and that there's more than those also, like there's not just oily combo or dry, there's like many other types of skin. Um, but then there's also, you know, the, the shade ranges are important nowadays, you know, and back in the day, it's always been, <laughs> been important. I'm sorry, I misspoke. It is always important <laughs> because we want the world to feel welcoming to everyone. Um, that's the point. Everyone should feel welcome. So let's throw some blush on. I definitely, so what's so strange is this one, although it felt tackier, um, I feel like maybe it's because it clung on to that the setting powder a little bit more or something but I feel like this side is kind of gripping onto product more so um possibly like uh yeah like if you want maybe a longer wear it sound, feels like the NYX will wear your makeup for longer uh versus the wet and wild but if you want like a really quick makeup fit thing this is the side feeling it i can s feel a subtle difference in the thickness so this side definitely feels thicker than this side like this side feels like almost like i have nothing on <laughs> uh, other than like you can feel like a little bit of the product this side it definitely feels more um powdery and everything like a, a little bit smoother um not as much like product necessarily feeling like texture wise but like when you feel like the sensation through your skin like i feel like there's more of a barrier if that makes sense so um yeah so that was pretty good. Let's see, maybe a highlighter. Screw some highlight on. Boom. Boom. This side, I felt, already had kind of a little bit more of a glow to it, whereas this side was a little bit more mattified. Um, so there, yeah. Um, so that's pretty good for like a really basic makeup look. You know, if you want to do your eyes, you can do your eyes, but that's not what today's about. It's about the face. So overall, um, I think they both do a pretty similar job. I think it's really microscopic differences. Um, throughout the day, they, you know, I feel like they wear a little bit differently. So maybe I'll post an update on, you know, how they wear, but I might also take a nap, which is terrible to do. Like I, some, I sometimes just fall asleep in makeup, but I'm kind of getting tired. So I'm going to let you go, but I want, I hope this is helpful to you. If you're making a choice in the grocery store or grocery store, the, um, supermarket, whatever. I don't know my brain. Yeah, I'm losing it. Um, Anyway, and also uh, a consideration too is the NYX uh, price point is slightly higher than the Wet n Wild actually. So I would say that this could be a dupe for this if you are trying to not spend as much money, but if, if it's just a couple of bucks, it's not that big of a deal. But I do like the sheen on this side this side it's definitely more mattified you know i just have the highlight um and this side has kind of a natural glow i was using my electrical thing so that's why that zit is like showing so much otherwise i do feel like the wet and wild does have similar coverage to this side um Although, like, my under eye circles definitely are brighter on this side than on this side. Um, but it's, it's a close, it's a close race. Right? I'm, I'm trying to compare and it's just a really close race. They both 
very much look the same. Um, this one, it's accentuating that wrinkle. There's a few wrinkles here, but I don't, if you, if I open up my eyes, you know, it, it blurs together. There's not as much product that's bunched up on this side though. I feel like there's a little bit more product bunching, but it's very microscopic. So this is again, true buff beige, um, and, or true beige buff. Um, and then this one is their light medium. So that both seem to be working and my face looks somewhat symmetrical. So yay, it's a win. Um, I'm gonna just for fun, throw on some lip stuff. So, uh, let's see, what's a fun lip? Um, this is a fun lip. Uh, this is Bizarre. It's the Cover Girl Full Spectrum in Bizarre. And it's this really nice, plummy, fuchsia. Bam. <laughs> it's cute. I like that. And then I suppose, okay, now we're at it. <laughs> I'm going to grab this. Um, it is the Nude Sticks in Night Dweller. There we go. I'm like ready to go take a nap. <laughs> but anyway, I hope this was helpful for you. This was fun for me. So it was a win-win. Take care, be well, be safe, and I will see you next time.